Despite a royal race row and a Sussex docu-series on the horizon, the Prince and Princess of Wales focused on their passions yesterday, visiting local organisations that support their communities. Perhaps an engagement that encompassed most of Will and Kate's interests was Roka, which has supported vulnerable young people for almost 35 years. Roka's founder explains how Will and Kate are helping to break stigmas. They both individually and collectively have a real interest around a range of mental health issues, early childhood, addiction, youth homelessness, and working with emergency response workers. Um, they've really sort of leaned in on this, how do you destigmatize mental health, how do you help people get access to resources. I met with young men supported by Roka. 22-year-old Jonathan was jailed for an attempted robbery but Roker's support has helped him turn his life around. They was definitely like on me, definitely on me to change, um, challenging my thinking ability. And um, even behind the walls, I was going through a lot of things I was thinking. So it was, it was a challenge that I, I overcame. Matt's childhood was difficult since he was taken away from his parents by the authorities. Roker's helped him cope with past trauma. From a year ago till now, I'm a completely different person. I got my head on straight, you know. I got, I got the right goals now, so I'm doing the right thing. Kate had the opportunity to focus on early childhood development with Roka's Young Mothers programme. Like the princess, Sunindia Bala, who runs it, believes the first five years of a child's life are crucial. I'm so thrilled that the princess is interested in this area because it is a really important time in a child's development. And yet what we know about the families that we work with is that in order to break that cycle, in order to make sure that children thrive, we really have to stabilize their mothers and help them. A quick dash across breezy Boston was Will and Kate's opportunity to see firsthand how the city is remaining optimistic about climate change. The doom and gloom approach to you know, climate, climate change uh, really, really isn't very helpful. So we really want to think about what the opportunities are and how we can all come together to address this. Boston's a city showing the world how to adapt to a changing climate and sea levels rising. This living seawall behind me is an example of just that. It not only protects the homes behind it, but also absorbs the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Will and Kate have learned all about it. Today, Hollywood A-listers joined the Prince and Princess on the recycled green carpets for the Earthshot Prize. Prince William uses his global platform to help others. Others appear to use theirs to talk about themselves. Cameron Walker, GB News, Boston.